As a creator, I firmly think that the best compliment that I can ever receive is when people tell me that I'm funny or that they are like laughing at the content that I'm creating. So everyone who has commented on any of the previous episodes of Mass Effect and have told me how much you are laughing, how much you are enjoying it, and that you think the edits and myself are kind of funny, I hope that you find $5 on the ground and are able to get yourself a nightless little treat. <laughs> But hey, YouTube Basics, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first playthrough of Mass Effect. This is episode four. And like I just said, I am blown away by the kindness and the comments you guys have left on the first three videos. You guys are delightful. And I just, I'm glad that you are really enjoying the series because I am so enjoying the game. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. Follow along with the social medias if you're just checking out the YouTube for the first time. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, all those places. We've got a cute little community Discord and love to have you there. Anyways, where we last left off, you guys got a little bit of a glimpse into me and what I look for in a pixel romance man. <laughs> I am so bummed because a lot of people have been very quick to point out that I will not get to romance Joker at some point in this game and I'm sad about it, but the heart must go on. We are now searching the galaxy. We have officially been made a specter. We've been given free reign and the Normandy is mine. I do believe I landed on an uncharted planet and driving is something that is now in my future, which if you've watched any of my cyberpunk, 2077 playthrough, or if you've been over on Twitch for our F1 days, you'll know that d d d driving in video games is not normally my strong suit, but we will see how this goes. <laughs> Let's just get into it though. And now is the time where we patiently wait for OBS to decide to capture the game. Mass Effect? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. I'm having jet ski flashbacks from Uncharted. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Okay, so there's like a little gun and then big gun. Okay. I am so sorry. Taylor. And anybody who's watching, if this makes it in, I've had Creed stuck in my head for the past like 48 hours. So if like we're ever in a time of a uh, downtime and I uh, just all of us, oh my God. Okay, okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, hold, wait a second. Oh, don't do this. What are you? What are you? I haven't seen the new Dune yet. Please, no spoilers. What is going on? Hey, oh my God, put it in reverse. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Why do you do other planning have to be so hostile? I'm just out for a little Sunday stroll. Trying to jam out to some divorced dad rock with my buds. And all of a sudden, we're under attack, dude. Okay, let's see. Alliance Marine. Pew, pew. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit, I'm hit. Get the tentacles. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh! I'm in the air, dude! Critical mission failure! This is the worst hangout with my boyfriends there ever was. I'm coming back for you, Dune Worm. If, dude, if I could put on Creed higher on repeat without getting absolutely demonetized on the platform, I would. So please chat, if or anybody who's watching this, please just put that on while you watch this. That's my request. Play it softly in the background. All right, I know it's coming now. Oh! Can, can I hit R? Repair! Okay, just run that one over. I'm determined at this point. 
Put it faster! Pedal to the metal! Pedal to the metal! Okay, shift does zoom for me. All right, Alliance Marine, I will save you. If you just give me... I'm trying my best. Zoom! R. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use R to repair. I'm trying to use R to repair! I guess with this thing, I don't know if I should be focusing on tentacles coming up out of the ground or like the big mambo jumbo zoom did it hit me did it i got no repair kits left i got no repairs i gotta go the dune worm one Basik Shepherd and crew too. My my little Mako is absolutely it is it is smoking right now. I got no more repair kits. I have to go home. I have to go home. That question mark is gonna have to stay a question mark. Hey, what is this? It says it's got like a red line. I'm gonna head towards it. Maybe it's just the uh, the like the border. You turn back, Commander. You're going beyond okay. the range of the operational area. Okay, thanks, Joker. Thank you. Thank you, Joker. Thanks for your insight. You're so smart. So good at communicating. Great communication skills. My Mako is really not in a position to be taken on this Dune Worm, but I just, I am um, just thinking about it. Zoom, 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 zoom! Oh my god, it's so low. Oh, I just call it a tie. I'm not doing that again. We'll remember. Our current shepherd won't remember. But I, basic with girl, will remember. Okay, can I? <gasps> oh, you want me to? Yes, ma'am. Big place? Just lead the way. No, I think that we should get back into the Mako. Oh. Looks like there's some stuff over here. Survey? Trying to <laughs> say Do you wanna help? You need me. On your order. I what did we Oh, that just that survey the mineral I was just wasn't close enough. I did it. Successfully surveyed a large deposit of palladium. Fantastic. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Okay, Joker. I hear you. Can you come pick me up now, though? I'm such a good driver. Maybe I'm not. Back it up. Back it up. The map is telling me there's important things up there. I feel like I'm playing Rocket League right now. Jumping and twisting and doing flips and stuff. My Mako. Oh, hey, all done, boys. All done, boys. Look at the, what we got here. Unless it's parked on even terrain. I can't exit the Mako. What am I supposed to do with all this then? There we go. What is this? Polonium. Survey. <laughs> it's rare! Okay, fantastic. Oh, my God, please hold on. Oh, no. If I hit my map. That's my one survey. That's my survey. That is an anomaly. That is a distress signal. That is debris. Okay. Excellent. 
Alright, are we back to the dune worm? I think we're back to the dune worm. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, brace yourself, boys. it in reverse. Put it in reverse. Heal it up. Should I get out of my... I, it seems silly to ask. Because I feel like I'm just going to get wrecked as soon as I do. But do I... Should I get out of the Mako? Alright, this is this is the route. This is the lap. Everything is kind of on fire, but I think if we perfectly time our zooms and our jumps... Oh my god. I gotta zoom. I gotta zoom. Oh, it just got me just like that, huh? Okay, okay, I'm done here. Break those minerals that I already, um, like that. How do I get back to my ship? Joker, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. <gasps> what was that, F? F, get me back on my ship. <laughs> okay. Missions. Find Liara. That is what we're trying to do. Go to Artemis Tau. Explore the uncharted world to find Liara. I'm about to give up on Liara. I am. It's what I want to do, but like I'm not taking this Mako just all around fighting various doom worms in order to find her. I'm so sorry, Liara. But I'm just not. Okay. Okay, let's go to Athens. Let's try Athens. We've already been to Sparta. Hot, humid, storm racked. Absolutely not. Sounds like Houston. Okay. Salamis. I do love a charcuterie, but I don't know if this is the time. Pharos. Use this time to like, I don't know, do your daily wordle. Maybe work on a Sudoku, some brain games to keep your mind sharp. Theorem? <gasps> I could. Okay. Rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Care the fossils. Um, okay. They, they did this. I feel good about this. I'm just. I'm, I don't want to waste our time. Once there, check out Theorem. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Perfect. We're landing. I have two boyfriends. We're just gonna go with with them. Uh, then I'll learn more, but We're definitely not taking Ashley Definitely not taking Ashley. Okay Commander, I'm Oh some strange readings Really strange like off the damn charts It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone Is it maybe this lava pit? I wish we had some little like banter. I've been so spoiled by all the silly uh, nonsense in Baldur's Gate as you're just like running around and like those characters chatting with each other. I know it's not fair to compare the two games. I totally know. I'm just so used to the little uh, party members chatting and getting to know each other. But sometimes it's, it's nice little uh, void emptiness filling that I don't have to fill with my own thoughts. Which is sometimes nice. So I'm not tempted to hum Creed. Alright, we are here. So we just gotta keep following. We just gotta keep following this. Okay. That's not my car. Should I hide? Oh no! I just run him over. Oh! Get, get the armature. Take him down. Oh no. 
Oh no, the Geth know that we're here. The Geth know we're here. They're also trying to find Liara. Because she's related to the lady with the boobies. Uh, can I sneak? Hey, hey, hey. Hey! I don't think we can take that strong point head on. He did. Oh, with that attitude. Oh, with that attitude. You you want to get out? You want to get out of the car? The car is what's keeping us alive right now, dude. Don't think we can take it head on. Caden. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Joker. Joker, you're not down here. You're not seeing what I'm seeing. You're not seeing what I'm seeing, dude. It's crazy out here, Joker. Couldn't take this on head on. Kitten, you worried me. At least it's a dry heat. Remember to stay hydrated. I don't need you reminding me to stay hydrated. You told me we couldn't do it, and now we've done it, and now you're just like, well, you know, all the positives. It's not humid. Okay, King, let's see. This is probably not the way. Let's see. Fatigued. That girl, I feel like, oh, shoot. I mean, I guess I gotta, I guess we get back in the Mako? I guess we get back into the Mako and like, climb this way? Yum! Up! Oh, um. Up work. Does it want me to use this like a ramp? Oh! Ah! So close. I really thought that was gonna be the uh I thought that was gonna be the one. Oh, what's over here? Oh! 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 I this is yeah! This seems better. This is the way that I should have tried to go in the first place. This is the way. Okay. Get freaked. I get absolutely freaked, dude. Who are you? You are just a little dude. You're gonna get obliterated by my my car guns. You, Geth Destroyer. Guess we should get out. Oh. oh, there's more. Okay, boys. I need to better figure out and understand how to send my team. Got it. Okay. Let's see if we can, I guess. Oh, those are like bombs. Okay, fantastic. Really great that all these facilities are uh, wheelchair accessible. Whoop! Area secured. Easy decryption. <laughs> Just wait. Whoopsies. Ooh, close one. Whew. Uh, take all, I guess. Gate control. Activate. Oh, so that I'll be able to get out easier once we leave. Okay, great. Love that so much for us. 
I thought Pamela was hot. Hell of a place. Okay. Whoa. Uh, okay, go. <laughs> please, sir, please. Boys, boys, help. Boys, help. Boys, help. Boys, help. I need to heal. Give me a minute. Good work, boys. Just to make sure. You scared me. Who would have thought Mass Effect was a horror game? Who would have thought? Not me, not I. Okay, back in my car. Uh, Liara. Liara, where are you? Too easy. She's a pro. Keep on down this only road I ever known. Here I go again on the road. Oh no! A fresh little, fresh set of troops have been delivered. Is that what's going on here? Um. Ooh, level up! What a lovely sound. For good measure. Should I like save really quick? Can I save really quick? I cannot save here. Oh, I don't want to have to do all this again. run over these dudes? Like, can I just run over? Please. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. What do you have to prove? Nothing. Yum. I do not have the proper clearance to be in this area. I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm gonna ask for my license and registration. Did that say saving? I'm gonna save right now. Excuse me, new save, just in case. Just, uh, just in case. That was fast. <laughs> I, that individual never stood a chance. Same with those dudes. What were they thinking? What were they thinking when they applied for that particular job in the Geth army? I'll be the one that stands on the outside of the tunnel, just waiting for the enemy vehicles to come take me out. I know I stand no chance. I will say, I was expecting navigating this, uh, this little car to be more difficult. I've heard terrible things about the Mako, and for the most part, I've been, uh, there's been a couple, maybe a hiccup. Or two. <laughs> Let me just... But I, for the most part, I think it's been pretty uh, intuitive. Take me there, right? Oh, it does not take me there. Oh, jammed. This is where they tell me 
that I am no longer allowed on foot. I must get to my boyfriends and, or I have to go on foot. I must get my boyfriends, get out of the car. Oh no. Look at all these places for cover. Look at all these places for cover. Uh, grenade? Where is a grenade? Hold on, hold on. That is not very great. Okay, come on. Come on, boys, behind me. Get behind. There we go. Where are you guys shooting? Oh, there's another. Oh. Sorry to steal your kill. Not now, Shepard. At least it's dry heat. <laughs> In the midst of battle, Garrus is like, this is not the time. Caden's just happy that I want to talk to him. Pulls on to Caden, honestly. Show me your head. Show me your head. Just, just whenever you're ready. Just whenever. Just take your time. Got him. Shield disabled. Got him. I would like my shield back. Can I have my shield back? Kaden, that's a rock. Oh no. There's another one somewhere. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Oh my god, there's another another one. Take out those hostiles. <gasps> I will. Words of encouragement. My love language. Thanks for recognizing my abilities. And appreciating them. Oh, hello, Garrus. Okay, let me switch back to my... Too easy. Too easy. All right, boys. Making our way to Liara. I don't even know if she's gonna, like, wanna help us or not. Do, 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 do. Joker, can you like give us maybe some support from the sky or something like that? Do we have any like bombs or something we could drop from the Normandy? Anything like that would be really nice. A little aerial support. <gasps> oh, cutscene. Oh. Oh! None of y'all shot at that. None of y'all shot at that. None of y'all shot at that. None of y'all shot at that thing. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. The first rule of space combat is shoot at everything that moves. I, Caden. I didn't mean to click you then, bud. Is Garrus dead? Garrus is dead. Garrus is dead. Who is this man? This the stalker? Garrus is dead. Oh god, did did Gaiden! We need to retreat. Oh god, everyone's gonna die. Can you throw a grenade? Do we have no more grenades? Oh no. Oh, Garrus is dead. Everyone's gonna be so mad at me. Everyone's gonna be so mad at me. Can I switch back to my sniper? Okay. Oh! 
Ew, 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 ew. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Kill it with fire. Okay. Okay, Kate, get your shields back up. Garrus is dead. <laughs> Do I have a, a way of uh, getting him back? You such a slippery little bugger. Where is he? Oh my god, I am gonna have nightmares about this thing. This is why I don't like space. This is why I hate space. Because of things like this. Oh god, I need like a crouch roll. Dodge roll. Did I get it? No, it's still alive. Caden, you're doing great though. And you're doing so good. I swear, these things, this should be dead by now. I've shot it so many times. Oh my god, this thing is back up and running. That's so unfortunate. Let's go the back way. Come on, Caden, follow me. Uh, crowd, get with me. Garrus is dead. Garrus, how could you do this? I'm not even gonna make it to the sequel. You're not even gonna make it to me too. What are you doing, you silly willy guy? Okay, you stay here. Kiss on your forehead. You just stay here, all right? Your little headaches. I'm sorry I made you come on this, uh, this mission, Caden. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, let's take turns going in and out. Oh. oh no! I need to heal. Okay, there we go. Just uh, kicking corners and whatnot. What am I supposed to be aiming for on this dude? Oh, hold on. Oh, shoot, let me get this guy first. Show me your head. Nope, 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 nope. V? You get over here. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Shield back up. Okay, he's dead now. So now we just have the big guy. But I don't know, like, what we're supposed to get him. Can I drop something on him? Do I run past it? Kaden, what's the move? Caden died too! Liara, I've lost so many troops because of you. Liara, I lost both of my boyfriends! Uh, what am I supposed to be aiming at? It's got, its shields are so high. She looks so sad. Contemplating how we got here. Patience. All right, I am known for my patience. Bonk, bonk. Okay, bonk, bonk, bonk. I'll just stay right here. Can take three shots at its armor. And then we'll start doing damage to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boyfriend, how do I heal them? Can I bring them back? They're a withers or a scroll of resurrection. Hey, you boyfriend, don't you worry. Walk towards the light if you really want to, but like, don't get too cozy and warm. Hold on, hold on, there we go. One, two, three. That's gotta be it. Okay. My boyfriends. Garrus, help. Garrus, get up. Garrus, get up. Kaden, where is Kaden? I don't even know where Kaden is. Oh, you guys are just fine now? All clear? I was worried sick about you. Hell of a place. You do you, 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 the understatement. How's the afterlife? What do you have to say? I thought Pathman was hot. Get out of my face. You were dead. I had already started the grieving process. Oh my god, where's Liara? I am going to 
Oh no, what is it? Paragon, Renegade, what's the mean one? All over her. Not now, Shepard. We got them all, Shepard. Stop yelling at me. Let's go this way. Something tells me this is the way we need to be going. Where is she? Where's Liara? Whee! All right. You know what? Let's switch guns. Let's switch to the old Gratata. This is the yeah. This is the old the old Gratata. Yeah, knees up. Get into sprinting, but don't let them see you fatigued. Oh, God. You've come into their homes. Shot up their place of work. Are we sure that we are not the monsters here? Okay, what are you shooting at? That's a rock! Oh, that's a guy. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks of the box man from Uncharted all over again, Taylor. Where is this? Oh, this... What? Who is shooting me? Look at this! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that is a rock! That is a rock! What kind of home security system is this? What is this? This is the box man, but ten times worse! <gasps> Brutal brawler, are you freaking kidding me? That makes me that makes me so mad. That was a box! That was a box! Oh my god. All these rocks that all of a sudden are uh, getting shot at for uh, seemingly no reason. Can I just can we just go this way? I mean, I should explore this first, right? Can I go through? Bloop. Nope. Cannot. My gut instinct said to take the elevator, and we should have just taken the elevator. If one of you could finish it off, that'd be great. I got it. Another level up? What did you say? The tiles remind you of a bathroom floor? You are so precious. I must protect you at all costs. Oh my gosh. Taylor, I know you are not happy with my Happy Meal comment about Caden liking the toy, but he's precious. In a cute way. He would like the toy and a McDonald's Happy Meal. Oh no, stuck in an elevator with my two boyfriends? Oh, it's a safe jumping distance away. Oh man, I thought we were about to have another one of those uh, scenes. We got with the old, uh, the old consort. Oh, hello. Ma'am. <laughs> Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Yeah. Keep it down. <laughs> My boyfriend's died because of you, Dr. Sawney. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tsunmi. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Okay. How? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. Can but you when put I it down? On, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. 
Okay. <laughs> I will not make the new Mass Effect fans to this channel mad. Just know, though, sometimes I will give NPCs that maybe you love sass. I won't do it two times in a row by telling her to pipe down and then also be like, you brought this on yourself. I'm not going to do it. But just know that I thought about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, Benicia. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benizia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Okay, investigate. Trapped. How did you end up in there? Oh, we I was this. exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil. I... I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay, okay. What can Any we suggestions do? suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Just lead the way. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, boyfriends, let's see what we can do. Oh my god, we're right back into combat. Are we even surprised? No. Oh, hello, Garrus. Welcome. Shooting Shepard. Excellent shooting, Commander! Yay! Go get him. Go get him, boyfriend! Never mind. I got it. Look at this. What do we have here? Decrypting. Oh, I'm so good at this. Too easy. Take off. Ooh. Take all. These are controls. Enter the code. Do I have the code? I don't know that. Do you have the code? I'm here if you need me. Can you figure out the code? On your order. Okay. Um. All right, doctor. Do you know the the code? Um. I. Oh. 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 Okay. Hold on. I guess. Do I need? Oh. Okay. So there. Okay. So here. 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 Shoot. Uh, there? Oh my god. Oh god. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Brute force it! You just gotta brute force it sometimes. Okay. Let's go, boys. Uh, da, 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 da. Alrighty. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. I mean, you asked me to. Shouldn't you be like, be thrilled? <laughs> it's not important, it was easy. Superior firepower. This guy was a little bit of a threat. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Okay. Uh. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. You just think it's an elevator? 
I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Yes! Saren's looking for the conduit. If you're a Prothean expert, he probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Nice. All right, everything's gonna collapse in on me. The whole place All right. is caving in. We we need to get out of here. Joker, get the Norm of the Airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, Mister. Aye, aye, yeah, Mister. And away. ETA eight minutes. <laughs> on the not double, Mister. ETA eight minutes. That's you haven't been like just circling around you haven't been this isn't the airport are you just circling waiting for me to come out of baggage claim with our new friend liara joker eight minutes the whole place is gonna collapse on me bud oh no oh hello uh, I do what you want oh look at that Turian ally. <laughs> Kill the bastard, this rune's coming down. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. No. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. All right, you want to fight now? Kill this bastard? You want to fight now? Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Well, time to die Go. then. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Oh man. Do I have any grenades? Hey! He died so easy. He was talking he was talking so much smack. They just rushed in and died. Leroy Jenkins. Let's fight. Okay. Liara, you just stay... Are you well hidden? I can't really tell if you are or not. Okay. My shield. Okay, my boyfriends are still alive, though, which is nice. Oh! Let's go with the... <sighs> All right, I think that's it. That's easy! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go, doctor. Let me introduce you to everybody else on my ship. Welcome to the crew. It'd be really nice to be able to jump in times like these. Please don't make me sacrifice somebody. No, no, no. I recognize everybody in this party's name though, so I know that you all make it to the end of maybe. At least you're not dying this early. You're no Richard. You're no Richard Jenkins. All right, there we go. Fatigued. Fatigue really settling in. That was the longest she has run in years, dude. That was the longest she's close, run in years. Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Joker, get down you here and say that to my right face. And your pilot is making jokes. He's a jerk. It eases the tension. That's true. Say it to my face, though, Joker. Enemies to lovers. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I Sarcasm. It definitely very much so there. a human thing. And not just yeah, from I would the say volcano. So. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Fifty years. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. 
Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> the century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. Ooh. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Oh. How do you know Where'd this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. So we're like half of her life? Is this just like an eighth grade science project for her? It is difficult to explain. Wikipedia is not a valid source to cite Liara. To prove my case. It is more Who has been driving you around if you haven't talked to your mom in years? Research. But I know I'm right. And eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Okay. Who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. Huh. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Okay. I know what happened. Shut up and I'll tell you. I can help you. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Uh, the beacon. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. Well, you must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Well, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of well, course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. Okay, so what could are you? You I can still help us if you'd like. Picture, we will take you... Off if we, bring you along. we will take you, you Commander. seriously Saren, and Commander all of your research. We will I respect think it. I of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. All right. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It okay. will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, we'll talk later. That's all we're... Yeah, that's all for Go now. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. 
Don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah! You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Dr. Sasani... Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Well... Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Hey, disconnect. I'm. S I kind of just want to disconnect. I kind of just want to like hang up at the disperse. Why would you? You promote me to this position and you put me in charge of this big, super duper important thing, but you're just questioning me along the way. Was it necessary? Do you think I just did it for fun? You think I'm just in, like, Indiana Jones visiting some runes and then deciding that, well, you know, let's just blow them up for the heck of it? Spartus, I'm rolling a dice right now. I'm just hanging up. A 16 or higher. 25% chance. It's only an 8. And you are so lucky because an 8 is literally right next to a nat 20. And you almost just, you almost just got disconnected. It was. We're crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. I know. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me. I'm very aware that you're all, uh... You're all counting on me. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's go up here. Let's do a little debrief with the crew if we can. Joker. How you holding up, buddy? How those bones are yours? Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Let's see. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's flirty. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I'm just here to chat. Ship status How's report. the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. That's flirting. That is so, that is so flirty, Joker. Now, lucky for you. All right, I just want to like talk. to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? I think Top we already did this. Flight school, Goodbye. For you. Just I have to go. All right, see you. We've already had all of that. I know you're not contagious. Open this door. Let's go down. Let's go see Dr. Chalk was and Liara. See how they're doing. Uh huh. Uh, is Liara not yes, here? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I guess not. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Did she not come down here? Oh, there she is. Liara, hi. How are you feeling? Did you get a snack? Commander. A little lunchable? Are you or... coming to check up on me? Yeah, are you okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. All right, she's You're the best. In good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... <laughs> uh, don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do Stay whatever away from I can Ashley. to help you stop Saren. I promise. And the Navigator Presley. I'm like, honestly, you should be fine. Everyone else seems very open-minded. Yeah. I promise. Don't I know. Worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Okay. Thank you. I like talking about, about you. Tell me yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. 
I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Liara, I'm not gonna flirt with you. Hit on you day one. You've been on the ship for like less than an hour. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No. I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you. Yeah, it's the sarcasm I again. I meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Wait, listen. Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. No, we already discussed no, you know this. Why? You don't I understand the sarcasm. I spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Okay. I think that was it. A sorry call to Benizia. Do you we know why Benizia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Oh. You sound troubled. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Okay. I, go. I gotta Goodbye, go talk to Caden. See you later. Glad that you're feeling better. Glad that you are feeling better. Hopefully you got your little powdered sugar donuts and maybe an orange juice. Get that blood sugar back up. Caden. Caden. Commander, do you have a minute? Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do, Kate. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. <gasps> this Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I, I understand your concerns. I understand your concerns, Caden. I hear you. The council ya. doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. It's a cute way of looking at it. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space. A <laughs> romantic. Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Or maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. You can be informal. You can just, we're just, you know, we're just, this is all off the record. This is just a couple of um, uh, uh, friends, but maybe more getting to know each other. You can trust me. I might be your commander, but I'm also, you know, you know, it's all right. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Oh, damn corporations. <laughs> I heard all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case anyway. My oh. mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. Oh. A little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. 
It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Oh no. Sounds rough. Go on. I, want, I mean, I want to investigate, but I also want to say this. Investigate? Friends? There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. Were we did so have a little lonely? circle to get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Okay. Maybe they, maybe it's like get this, like you guys just, uh, I don't know, did some wrestling, maybe some thumb wars, maybe a little rock, paper, scissors, Rochambeau. I'm, not, I'm sure that get physical doesn't actually mean get physical, literally. Time to talk then. Time to get physical. Time to talk. I mean, I don't want this to be weird. I want him to think I'm flirting with him, but I don't want him to think I'm being weird about it. Sounds rough. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Time to talk. Time to get. I don't want to say this. This feels icky. I wish I could quick save and just see what it does, but I didn't create a save once we landed and here we are. Time to talk then. Time to get physical then. Investigate. Time to talk. Time to talk. Time to get physical. Time to talk. Time to talk. Time to talk. Get physical. Talk. And you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There we go. There was this girl named Rana. Oh! I had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart. And You're gonna tell me about getting herself. physical, anyways. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. <sighs> Like me, he guesses. Like me, he guesses. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Listen, I've been playing Baldur's Gate, and I've been romancing Gail, so I am totally, I am aware. I am used to being the new woman in a relationship with a man who's got a broken heart. You just, you, it, 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 time this is, Cracks knuckles, this is what I was built for. <laughs> Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. <sighs> yeah. Let's not make that same mistake. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using Mass Effect fields. <gasps> Mass Effect! Research platform when I was Title there. drop drink. All right, investigate is exposure. You know exposure. of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then, no one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Oh man, sounds rough. Go on. Jump Zero's a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I want to know my crew. I'm interested. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, I don't. No! <gasps> no, just you. You're special. I didn't say I did this for the whole crew. We should talk again. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. <gasps> I 
Okay. <laughs> go talk to the others. <laughs> We're down the path of romance. Since Joker won't love me, maybe Caden will. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna start planning the wedding now. <laughs> Go down. Alright, here we go. Garrus! Hello! Commander, how are you? Yes. Are you in CSEC? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Did we already do this? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Did we do this? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Oh, I can understand that. It's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming oh. a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. Oh. Oh! You were asked to be a Spectre. Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He Daddy hates the issues. idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I don't know. Parents love me. Too bad. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Okay. Not true. Forget about it. Exactly. Forget about it. Not true. Uh, exactly. Not true. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. That's what I I see I'm what wondering. you mean, but I'll think about it. Okay. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. Okay, that boyfriend doesn't like me as much. Uh, Ashley. Commander. I was warming the bench. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? Oh one on one? Yeah. Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Oh. Is well, this duty-related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, why not? Because they don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. You just get back to your little laptop. You just get back to scrolling Pinterest, Ashley. All right. You start showing any more prejudice like that, though. You can just take everything out of your little locker. Get out of here! We're all in this together. So, Rex? We've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. I like the confidence. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Hey, well. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew him, huh? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Okay. Well, I'll done. decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Oh. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this 
massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Okay, what was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Interesting. Whose ship was it? There was a Polis trading vessel. Big one, lots of guards, but they were no match for us. Okay. The cargo? What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Okay. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. All right, Every other buddy. On that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Oh, that's crazy. So I long, see. Rex. Shepherd. All right, good to know. Thanks for sharing your drama with me, bestie. Okay, we're going to call it here for episode 4. <gasps> We've got Liara. We have added her to the team. The Mako is very... It's going to take some getting used to. But we officially are flirting. And I am so happy. If you made it to the end of the video, though, thank you so much for watching. Again, hey, I'm Basic Wit Girl. In addition to everything that we do here on Twitch, I also stream... In addition to everything we do on YouTube, here on YouTube, you, YouTube. Uh, I also do stream on Twitch four days a week, some other first plays through video games and stuff like that. So come check us out over there. Follow my social medias. I'm Basic Wit Girl on all of the platforms. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Twitch. Think about joining our Discord if you're enjoying and you want to get alerted to when videos are going up the schedule and go lives stuff like that we'd love to have you in there it's a great place full of great people and all that jazz uh but in the meantime thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one have a good one <laughs>